In this video, we'll talk about a simple geometric interpretation for the eigenvalue decomposition of a symmetric matrix. We arrived at this decomposition more or less algebraically, so it will be very nice to know that there is a great geometric interpretation. To make perfect sense of our discussion, I'd like for you to remember two things. First of all, I'd like you to think back to our recent discussion on the relationship between the two geometric interpretations of an orthogonal matrix. And of course, the matrix X here is orthogonal. According to the first interpretation, we saw X as a collection of vectors represented by its columns. And because X is orthogonal, the corresponding vectors are orthonormal. That was our first interpretation. According to the second interpretation, we saw X as a linear transformation. And because X is orthogonal, we're limited to rotations and possibly rotations with a reflection thrown in. So we'll once again say rotations just for simplicity. The interesting part was the relationship between the two interpretations. The rotation that X represents is precisely the linear transformation that transforms the basis elements into the vectors represented by its columns. And the inverse transformation that takes those vectors back into the vectors of the basis is of course represented by the inverse of X or as X transpose because X is orthogonal. And here it is sitting right here. And that's the interpretation we'll give this matrix in just a moment. Now here's the second thing I'd like you to remember. Think back to our discussion of simple rotations with respect to an axis that points in an arbitrary direction. And we wanted to represent that, that rotation by a combination of rotations with respect to the coordinate axes. And the solution was to bring this axis to the z-axis. That took two rotations, but we can think of it as a single step, single transformation to align that axis with the z-axis. And once they're aligned, we can perform our rotation as a simple rotation about the z-axis. And once the desired rotation is done, we can simply bring the axis back. Now, wouldn't it be great to give symmetric transformations a similar interpretation? What do symmetric transformations do? Well, we'll call them, we call them orthoscaling for a reason. They simply scale the space along some orthogonal directions. So they may be orthogonal, but otherwise they point in arbitrary directions, just like our axis with respect to which we wanted to perform a rotation. So we're scaling the space along these three orthogonal directions. Well, wouldn't it be great if we could represent that scaling as somehow scaling with respect along the coordinate axes? So what we need to do is rotate our orthogonal directions, which of course coincide with the eigenvectors of the matrix S or the columns of the matrix X. So we need to rotate them so that they're aligned well, with the coordinate axes. And what's, once that's done, we can do our scaling. And the nice thing about scaling with respect to coordinate axes is that that transformation is represented, of course, by a diagonal matrix. And once the scaling is done, simply bring the whole thing back to its original orientation. Well, that's exactly what these three steps do. Here they are. First, take our orthogonal directions and rotate them so that they're aligned with the coordinate axes. Once that's done, simply scale the space along the coordinate axes. And once all of the scaling is done, simply bring those directions back to their original orientations. So scaling with respect to arbitrary orthogonal directions can be done in three steps, just as we did with rotation along an axis that points in an arbitrary direction. Align them with the coordinate axes, do the simple scaling, bring it all back. So it's really a very simple, very vivid, and very important interpretation of the eigenvalue decomposition that will really be front and center when in not so distant future, we'll talk about the singular value decomposition. 
So we'll really have to think back to this very discussion and it will be very helpful.